the dreaded Thanksgiving turkey. One of the uh, most simple things to make, yet everybody seems to be intimidated by it. So today I'm gonna make it easy and make a really juicy turkey. Fresh turkey right here in the package. Cut the turkey open. Make sure your turkey is thawed. Most turkeys that you buy are gonna be frozen, so make sure that you go ahead, purchase your turkey a little bit early, let it thaw in the refrigerator. Very, very important. Take it right out of the package like this, and go ahead and set it into the roasting pan so it doesn't drip all over your cutting board or anything like that. Your carrying piece, kind of unwind it. It's around the neck and goes up inside here, and you can see this plastic. It's gotta come right out. You don't leave that in the turkey. Reach inside here, you got the neck, some comes with giblets, some don't. So now that we've got it all cleaned out like this, we're gonna drop it into a brine. So you need a big bucket for this. Same principle goes as if you're frying a turkey. Remember, when you put the turkey in there, it's gonna displace the water the size of the turkey. So now, I'm gonna pull this turkey out. It's been brining for 24 hours. And make sure it drains off really well. Into your roasting pan like this. Now, I've got some leeks here. Trim the tops off, take your tops, and put them in the bottom of the roasting pan. Just some aromatics. Then we're gonna take the leeks and just chop them up. Just stuff it with the leeks. And then I'm gonna get some salt and heavily season the inside of that like this. And then I'm gonna take some pepper and do the same thing. Set your turkey up. I'm gonna stuff some thyme in there like this. And this is really haphazardly, just shove it in there. And then I'm gonna take a lemon, cut it in half lengthwise, like this. Don't squeeze it, just stuff it in there. Garlic, three cloves, smash them up, shove those in there as well. And then top the rest off with some more leeks. You can see that, look at that, beautiful. So I take a quarter pound of butter here. So we melt the butter, now a juice of one lemon, goes in with the butter. Then I'm gonna add some smoked paprika, about a tablespoon. Some chili powder, same thing. And then zest. Again, building a lot of aromatics. And the butter absorbs all this flavor. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna pat this dry a little bit while it's melting and get the skin ready to absorb all this seasoning like this. All right, now check it out. It's gonna have a nice aromatic to it. Let me just paint the turkey like this. Oh boy. And if the bird is chilled, which this is, the butter kind of sticks to the skin because as it cools, it stiffens, and that's exactly what we want. Now, you can't have too much of this, by the way. Now, I'm going to stand it up, okay, and paint the backside. And then, again, season real liberally. Start with the bottom here, and then pepper. So the idea when you cook any kind of roast or any bird is you want it to, to cook as a whole. So if we cook it like this, then the wings are gonna be done before the breasts are done. So we're gonna take the wings and fold them back. So if you pay attention close, like this, kind of make it double jointed, right? So we're gonna go around it and just flip it back. See how it tucks it in there like that? So if you get a turkey that's missing its wing, which this one is, then we're gonna need to tie it up. So we'll make a little loop knot like this. Get it around the wing, see how it tightens in like that. And then we're just gonna tie it right around this one. Very simply, and just so it keeps it nice and snug so those wings don't get overcooked. Then we're gonna take these and just tie it like this, okay? Same thing, slip knot. Back through the hole, just like so. Cross the legs. And just wrap around a few times like this. And tuck it right in. Salt liberally on the whole thing. Remember, it's a big bird, so it requires a little bit more salt than you would think in your mind. Pepper. We got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. Tell you what, you guys can just write me later, Instagram me about how good this is, because I know it's coming. Take about two and three quarters hours, right in the oven. All right, moment of truth here. Oh boy. Now. Last step, probably the most important step of the whole deal. You wanna take your turkey and let it rest for about 15 or 20 minutes, just to let 
the turkey settled in, the juices absorb back into the meat before we carve it. So take it out about 20 or 30 minutes, cover it with foil if you like. And now we have this beautiful turkey.